This is going to be a very great video for you on what has really taken place, where all the goods are coming from, and why you just can't get anything in America anymore, even if it does show that it is being imported or it's coming from America and stuff. More than likely, it is coming from China. But just so everyone is clear, no matter where you're shopping, no matter what you're buying, a lot of it is all coming from overseas. And there's nothing we can do unless we start making it all here. Now, a cool site is, you come to this site right here. Now pay attention folks, because this is really cool. You can get a lot of great information right here. Importyeti.com. You type in any company you want. Walmart. Hit enter. It shows you all their different all these different transactions and everything else, these are all imports that are coming in. You can see total shipments, 362,261. You can go in and you can research each one of these companies and you can see where it's coming from. The cool thing is you see these little American flags, American flags, American flags. None of this stuff is coming from American dealers. All right, they're all coming from any type of another shipper. So like, you wanna know what this one right here is, this is top supplier. So you just take and just go like this, copy this, open up a new tab, go to Google, click on that, paste, enter. Look right over here, folks. It's from China. This is a company out of China. That's all you gotta do. And you can go through and you can see that there are just, look how many pages there are. Go to page seven, all right? Here you go. All right, and you can, you can do, you wanna do somebody else? Let's do Amazon. And we have the same scenario. It's pretty sad, folks. And you see there's a lot more from Amazon. So as you see, Walmart started this whole process of, of importing all the goods, forcing the American companies to go to China and overseas so that they can produce all these goods at the cheapest price. And now all these other companies are having to jump on the bandwagon to keep up with Walmart if they want to try to compete or overtake Walmart. Will these companies succeed? We just don't know. This is, I have been reporting on Walmart and Sam's Club and a lot of different retailers for quite a long time now. And what I've been finding out is through some investigating that there is a lot of stuff that's behind the talking scenes. About. I'm, Amazon engages in cutting more jobs as the economy crisis worsens. Jeff Bezos did issue a warning here this past week and he was talking about with the recession and with the interest rates going up and everything else that they're going to have to really relook at what the whole business aspect is their plan and everything else for the future and they may have to put a lot of different things on hold that they wanted to do they want bigger distribution centers and put those throughout the country to try to maximize because amazon's goal is to try to make sure that they are the number one company in the united states right number they're number two behind Walmart they want that number one spot but this recession that these high interest rates and everything else is gonna put them behind the eight ball and they're not too happy about it so they're um, having to cut if you google how much land does China own in the United States they're up to hundred and ninety one thousand acres and that was before they just bought all that land out in North Dakota not too far from one of our main military bases out there else when you really sit back and you look at it and you dig into what is going on through all these different things that i have shown you today you're going to see it's not just walmart it's every major american company here that is doing this that has had to get on the bandwagon because walmart started it they forced all their retailers here to leave here to go to China to make the products even cheaper so they can import them back in here and sell them at a huge discounted price now everybody else is jumping on the same bandwagon because if they don't they're gonna be left behind in the dust of Walmart and there's a lot of companies that want a piece of that pie Walmart is having to fight for their existence based on 
what they created. Quite amazing, isn't it? We'll have to wait and see what the future holds for Walmart and if they can hold their own because other companies are coming for them in the near future. And let's see if they make it. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Hope you all stay safe. Keep prepping. Do your best to try and succeed and trying to find those American-made products. They're few and far between.